Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, you know it's time for a, uh, a new moon reading. My background is all lopsided. Um, this time around, we are looking at... The Leo lunar cycle, so we're looking at the month of August. Going to have our typical four cards. Uh, energy popping up for you. Any crossing energies or obstacles you might be facing. And because we're dealing with Leo energy where you need to show up and show out. Devote a little bit of fire. And then as always, a quick little soul message. Something extra for you to take away with you from this spread. This video is for the Tauruses. So Taurus sun, Taurus moon, and Taurus rising. Before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying doesn't resonate with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have a link down below in the description box, okay? All right, the first card, we're just going to hop into it. The first card that I have coming up for you guys in your spread is in the position of the energy that you've either been working with already or that's coming in for you or that you need to be tapping into. And you've got the card of release here. And the the main message that I get with this card for you, Taurus, and based on the cards that you have popping up in your spread, which I will go into detail in a, in a little bit, but I really get this sense of you guys are coming into a, a brand new chapter. You had birthdays a couple months ago, so you've already, you're past the beginning now, and now you're kind of in the space where you're ready to hit the ground running into whatever is meant for you, whatever you're supposed to be in alignment with, right? But I feel like some of you, especially being Tauruses, being that earth and carrying that stubborn energy that you do have sometimes, there are still some things that a lot of you guys are still holding on to, whether it be memories, whether it be, you know, the thought that things will go back to the way they were in a certain aspect or, you know, habits, whether they be bad habits or just habits that, you know, don't really serve you anymore. But like some of you guys are still carrying around a little bit of old baggage, a little bit of things that you, there's some things that, you know, you don't really need to necessarily be carrying around right now. I say this in a lot of my videos. Um, it really doesn't make sense to go into a new chapter with baggage from old shit that doesn't have anything to do with what you got going on in, in the present, right? Because it's like, okay, you're in this situation now, but you got baggage from this situation way back then. And say something comes up in this situation now, what you gonna do? Search through your bag for something to pull you out of it or, or, or a comeback to pull you out of it, but all you got is baggage from where you were. It does not make sense to carry that shit over into a new. So it's time for you to take the bag and leave it empty to make, you know, we pick up, we pick up shit wherever we go, so, or in whatever we do, so it's like, you know, empty the bag out. Don't, you know, understand that everything is going to bring, everything has a positive and a negative side to it, but you don't need to bring the negative from things that don't have anything to do with what you have going on right now. So, for you Tauruses, I think it's very important during this month of August to take a look at where you are in life right now, and what you're still carrying around, what you're still thinking about, what still bothers you from things that don't have any space in what you have going on here today. And when you figure out what those things are and acknowledge them, it's time for you to actually start releasing them. That is the energy for you for this month, okay? And I'm not surprised. You're crossing energy. The next card in your spread is the death and rebirth card. And this card is also the number eight in this deck. So very quickly talking about the number eight, that is the number of karma, the number of infinity, the number of cycles. So whatever new chapters you're supposed to be in, your challenge is you're just very much so in that Taurus stubborn bull energy. This is the card of closing chapters to come into a new. This is the card of walking away from one cycle to ascend into a new. This is the card of understanding what has happened and what has transpired and understanding that you do leave that behind and you take the lessons from it so that you can come into a new and make new experiences, right? But this is in your crossing position. This And this energy is stopping you from being able to release. Taurus, what are you holding on to? What is it that you still think about constantly or what is it that 
still pops up for you frequently that doesn't have anything to do with your life now that you still, you know, give your energy to or lend your energy to. It is time for you to turn this card into an upright position, right? I say that in a lot of my spreads too. This crossing energy does not need to be an obstacle. Whatever it is that you know you need to walk away from or whatever it is that you know you're just kind of holding on to or holding on to the shell of, it's time for you to release that. Again, we, not again, I didn't say this yet, but we are in a time where Saturn is in Capricorn, so we are very much so dealing with the energy of crumbling foundations to make space, to clear out space for us to build upon new pillars. This is a card resonating with that energy. Taurus, what foundations need to crumble? What baggage are you still carrying around in that bag while you're walking on a completely new path? Whatever that is, you really do need to be honest with yourself and you need to come out of your stubborn, come out of your shadow side and say, okay, I've got to let this go. I've got to move on from this. I have got to work through this and I have got to clear out that energy so that I can have the space and the time and the energy and the motivation to do the things that I need to do to put me into alignment with where I'm supposed to be right now, okay? All right, y'all. The next card that I have coming up in your spread is in the position of the Leo energy where you need to show up and show out. And you've got the Ten of Air. And this is actually one of my favorite cards in this Dreams of Gaia deck. Um, this is a card that very much so resonates with the energy of the self. This card brings in this message of really finally coming to this point of understanding who you are, who you want to be, not really caring about what anybody else has to say about it, what anybody else thinks. This is the air card. This is the sword uh, suit. Um, and really just taking that step, going into that path, walking along your path into who you are walking into you. This is a 10 card. So this closes out the, the air suit. So this finishes everything up. You've got your perspective together you've got your thoughts together you've got you know your communication together in the way that you speak about your thoughts and about your plans and you've got your understanding together you just got it all together and you know who you are who you want to be where you need to be and what you want to be doing this is where you need to devote your energy during this month Taurus so with all this release energy and these cycles and transformation things popping off uh, uh, being the overall energy for you your job during the month of August is to say okay this is what my life is right now. This is what I want my life to look like. That is what my life was and what once was no longer is. It's time for me to embark upon this new journey. Um, I don't really pick up on the sense of, you know, you're finding yourself or you're discovering yourself, but I feel like you guys are in the space of you have been past that point, but you are now in a space to where you can actually do the things that resonate with who that version of you is, okay? So this is really popping ass energy for you, Taurus. This is a good month for you. And I think you're going to be having a lot of epiphanies. I feel like your perspective is going to be changing a little bit during this month. And I feel like you might be making some major changes and moving away from some things that may once have been very prominent in your lives, whether that be like a job or a person or, you know, a, a, a physical space or something or a relationship. Um, I think that you guys are really now in your next well I guess you're now you're current but you're now in what we've been talking about previously the next chapter the chapter coming up you are now there okay all right y'all the last card that I have popping up in your spread for you is in the position of the soul message and you've got the sapphire card here and this comes with some master number energy so again this is a really popping ass month for you Taurus this is a very important time for you as well okay um, we've got some retrogrades ending, some shit going direct. There's a lot of earth energy popping off in the in the cosmos. Um, um, your sister sign is in Saturn's in your sister sign. And so that's very prominent for you. Um, the Sapphire card, this is a this is a blue card. This resonates with your uh, your throat chakra. But I also um, associate this with the third eye chakra as well. So I think just your perspective and the way that you're thinking about things, you really need to give some energy to that during this month. Really, um, if you have some time to work with some throat chakra, or third eye chakra stones, specifically some darker ones, if you've got some sapphire, work with some sapphire. Um, do some meditations for those chakras as well, um, especially in regards to gaining clarity and in regards to being able to manifest the things that you truly want and you truly desire. Um, this card in this deck comes with the message of regenerate your body as well. So just, um, you know, 
generally speaking, whatever you need to do to get your health in order, do that. If it is not in order, just give yourself, a, get a little bit more active, eat a little bit better, whatever you got to do. But also at the same time, I think this comes with the message of giving a little bit of a rejuvenation to your physical, your life in the tangible realm. You know what I'm saying? So for you, Taurus, I think you need to devote a little bit of energy to what it is that your path looks like, where it is that you're going, and how you get rid of whatever it is that's holding you back from making those moves, okay? August is lit for y'all. All right, y'all, and that's your spread. Hope that provided you with some insight. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. If you'd like your own reading, feel free to book one with me um, through my Etsy. I've got that link down below as well. Check out that uh, Leo Lunar Cycle video. Also look at the Aquarius uh, Full Moon video as well. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.